everyone. It's Ms. Pneumatic. Today, I'm going to share with you about a differential pressure type auto drain. What is a differential pressure type auto drain for? Let's begin with the definition of a drain. If you already know the function and use of a drain, please skip this part. What's a drain? Drain means to cause the water, liquid, to run out. In this sense, a drain is a device for discharging liquids such as water. Then, when do we use it? In order to generate compressed air necessary to operate the pneumatic system, an air compressor must force air into a storage tank and increase the pressure. Air compressing generates heat inside. This heat travels through the pipes, and as it cools again, it generates moisture. Not only that, moisture can be generated depending on the temperature of the operating system's environment. Moisture travels through the pneumatic hoses and tubing and enters various devices causing rapid corrosion and premature failure. To prevent this, we install an air filter and a drain in the pneumatic system to filter and discharge moisture or any other foreign substances. The filter purifies moisture and foreign substances and the drain discharges the filtered moisture and foreign substances to the outside. Clean compressed air increases the lifespan of pneumatic equipment and minimizes the failure of control elements. In the long run, the drain can reduce the number of repairs and save maintenance costs. Now you know the importance of filters and drains. The drains we use can be broadly classified into two manual and automatic. Literally, manual drain is a method of manually draining moisture and foreign substances, while the automatic drain is done vice versa. Today, we will learn about the auto drain. If you want to know about the manual drain, please refer to the structure and operating principle of manual drain above. Auto drain can be divided again into differential pressure type and flow type depending on the structure and operating method. The differential pressure type clears moisture and foreign substances using differential pressure, while the float type uses the buoyancy of the float. In this video, we will look into differential pressure. Let's begin with the internal structure of the differential pressure type auto drain. The differential pressure type auto drain consists of a valve stem, a valve seat, a cover, and a drain fitting. And a filter bowl and a case cover the entire device. Let's take a look at how these components work organically. First, let's assume there is no pressure applied to the bowl. If the pressure from compressed air does not affect the bowl, the drain function does not work, as there is no differential pressure. We can say that the device is in an initial state before supplying compressed air. Second, when pressure is exerted on the bowl, when compressed air enters the inlet, moisture and foreign substances filtered through the filter element pass through the rubber cover and accumulate at the bottom of the bowl. When the bowl reaches a pressure of 0.15 MPa or more, the valve stem descends as the pressure pushes the cover down and reaches the valve seat, keeping the bowl airtight. Air tight. 
sealing the container to prevent gas or liquid leak. In this state, the compressed air above and below the auto drain cover is equal in pressure to maintain the pressure balance. Third, when there is a differential pressure in the bowl. The auto drain cover has a shape of an umbrella to enable the easy flow of compressed air, moisture, and foreign substances. It is also a sealing type to prevent leakage through backflow, meaning when some of the compressed air leaks through the outlet, the compressed air above the cover flows out and the air below maintains air tightness. In this case, the pressure balance is broken due to the difference in the pressure. Then, the compressed air pressure under the cover will be higher than the pressure above the cover, leveling up the cover and the valve stem. When this happens, a hole is created between the valve stem and the valve seat and the moisture and foreign substances accumulated in the bowl will be leaked through the hole. It's time to look at the strengths and weaknesses of using differential pressure type auto drain. The strengths are, first, it ensures easy maintenance. Traditionally, People drained water and foreign substances through manual operation. But if the operator forgets to drain, the bowl will overflow with moisture and foreign substances, and sometimes they may flow into the filter outlet. Since the differential pressure type automatic drain enables automatic discharge through pressure differences, it can prevent the overflowing of moisture and foreign substances or the need for frequent drain check. Second, it has a low manufacturing cost. Due to its very simple components and structure, it is relatively inexpensive compared to other operating methods. Third, it is possible to produce small models with a simple structure. As mentioned earlier, it has a simple structure so that you can manufacture relatively small models. The weaknesses are, first, it is difficult to use the device in an environment where differential pressure does not occur. In order to use a differential pressure drain, pressure differences must occur in the bowl. Differential pressure does not occur in environments where the pressure range is very small or where pressure is constantly supplied from a large pressure tank. In such cases, the drain will not work and moisture and foreign substances may continue to build up and flow to the outlet. So, the differential pressure type drain is not recommended in an environment where there are no pressure differences. Second, it is an older technique compared to the float type. If we look at the development sequence of the drain operating method, the differential pressure type drain was first developed, followed by the float type drain. Nowadays, many companies tend to use the float type rather than the differential pressure type. Operating methods may differ depending on the environment. Please check out my next video to learn more about the float type auto drain. Here ends today's topic. We looked into the reasons why we should use a drain the structure and operating principle of the differential pressure type auto drain, and the strengths and weaknesses. In the next video, we will talk about the float type drain. If this video helped you a bit, don't forget to subscribe and like. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. I'll bring you more useful information next time. Bye! Miss Pneumatic Channel is working together with KCC Precision.